How's it going? How's it everybody doing today? August 10th, I believe, right? Anyway, it's happening. My name's Light. <laughs> and Serena. <laughs> I won't get into all that another time. Anyway, I just had the most loveliest time with my beautiful daughter, my son-in-law, and my father-in-law. And it, it got me, you know, listening to Grandpa talking. I love his stories. But, um... You know, he was talking about picture, going through pictures and stuff and how, you know, the younger, you know, the grandkids, the great-grandkids, whatever, grandkids don't know who some of these people are. And, I can't, and for the life of me, I can't remember the names now. But not remembering, not knowing who, who they're talking about. So, like, these pictures, you know don't mean too much to them or whatever, but what it got me thinking about was, excuse me, I gotta get a drink of water, was the um, passing down information from generation to generation, breaking generational ga gaps, and, and he's right, because it's the pictures, it's the memories, it's all that that keeps things alive, and I guess, in, like, in this day and age, you know, everybody's so you know, the computers and Facebook and, and things are just different now. You can take pictures instantly and send them to everyone and you have them forever unless you, you know, I don't know. But it just goes back to, you know, sow a seed, teach the children. And, and part of that is not only bringing people together and, and teaching children how to grow food and, and how food is used medicinally and, you know, foraging basically that's been coming up and there's a book I really want to get. I think it's really important and everyone should know that just as a survival for life on earth as a human, um, knowing that things that they spray Roundup on weeds and stuff like that are, are so nutritious and, and there's medicinal uses and there's, and anything that's grown on the earth we could use. So there's so much to be said in just the little itty bitty things this sow a seed, teach the children that God put on my heart, you know, gave me was, was all of this, all these things I've been hearing lately, food shortages, <clears throat> people not being healthy and all that. And, and it's because of what we're eating and I'm the worst. I'm fucking a sugar holic, <laughs> sugar holic, tobacco holic, you know, fuck. All the shit that is not great, that it's not good for your body, you know. Um, but all my body's like, hey, we tell you, you know, some more greens. We need greens. You can't live like, like my son-in-law was saying, you can't live on just protein. You got to have some greens. I mean, there's all of it. You got to get in the sun. If you can't walk barefoot, at least put your feet on the, the grass, sitting down, just sitting there. Get that contact. It's so important for us and myself. I've been laying in bed and I'm, I'm feeling sorry for myself. And it's like, wait a minute, you're in control of your life. You have all these gifts and talents. We'll put it to you. So what do I do first? I don't know. Just do something. I get lost in the semantics of making everything perfect and, and trying to do like this and that and this and that. And, and, and I get so lost in that that I don't do anything. And I wrote down, keep it simple. Keep it simple. I don't want to say the other part to it because what you speak, I really want to work on being mindful and the, the, the shift I see myself going in. Like yesterday, I, when I opened my eyes, I was great. Today, I went right to shit again. <laughs> right away. And I went outside and I was walking and, and that helped. And then I just, the more I tried to clear my head, the more fucking mad I got about it more upset I got about all these things. The human just saying, Hey, Oh, poor me. Look at me. I can't do anything. Yeah, you can. This day and age, there's no reason why. Just what had your heart on fire? Back when you were Serena, 
full of all this excitement and and newfound life. Everything was great. You had no idea how you were going to do any of this stuff, but you just knew. What happened to her? You changed your name to Light and now you're a dick? No, I'm not a dick really, but you know, you know what I'm getting at. What I'm trying to say, hopefully, I'm coming across, somebody understands that. Whatever, I'm just, you know, but the generational gaps, that's part of it. Growing food, making sure that you get non-GMO seeds, non-GMO seeds, because that way the food you grow, you take those seeds and you grow more food. We live on earth. There's fruit trees. There's food. All the food we need is grown. It lives on the earth. Nobody should be hungry. Fuck. No one. Generational gaps. Sitting down with... with people in your neighborhood, everyone, let alone your own family members that are older and listen to their stories and pass along knowledge and, and, you know, look, you know, teach the children. You see a child really young, interested in something when they're really young, encourage that. Not what you want, what you couldn't do, but teach the children shit that's worth their while that will help them be productive, good human beings in the future for their future. I know, I wasn't the best years ago, but you know what, that time is gone. This is me now. And if you can't get past that, then I'm, I, you know, I'm sorry for you. I really am sorry for you. But this is a me now. And as I'm saying this to you, I'm saying it to myself every time. I'm not telling someone else to do something that I haven't done already or I'm not going through right now. I'm just here to, to do what I'm called to do to the best of my knowledge of what I think that is. And I'm scared to death on some things because I don't know why. Still fighting the, the, these, these things, you know. So maybe I should stop fighting it and just allow it like I speak, right? You know, if I should, should learn anything of this is when I'm called to speak and I just speak, I need to stop looking at the human side of it like, is it because I don't know what the hell I'm doing or I'm confused and I'm lost? Ah, I'm, I'm forgetting what this is, what it, what it is to be a, a messenger. It's not all about me, right? It's not all about me. See, you, I can learn everything from the people in my life because I just jokingly said that to my um, ex-husband and my friend last night. It's not always about you. Here's your sign. Not always about me. So, hey, I'm learning something right now. What it means to be a messenger. I'm, I'm, I'm working on it. I'm used to just doing it, getting it for myself. Not other people. It's funny because I was just sitting there going, okay, I'm a messenger. What can I do? You know, what's a message I could give to? And then I'm waiting for like this message of like a, a name of a title and you know, all this things. And then here I am recording right now. And, um, I ask for it, you shall receive. Didn't even know I have a message. What do I name this? I mean, I have no idea. It was about breaking generational gaps. We'll stick with that. Passing down knowledge and how things get lost. And then we have other people whom we're entrusting our lives and our future lives on who just mean us harm. And um, that's ridiculous to give that power over to anyone. You know, giving your power of yourself over to somebody else because of what they think or whatever coming from their perception, you know, don't take it so personal. If we take it personal, it's because it's true. 
or we don't know who we are, whatever, you know, coming together as communities and, you know, I, I, you know, you know, <laughs> what the fuck? Stop saying that. You know, Kidding. Fucking dick. Anyway, <laughs> Be who you are, love who you are, all your weird quirks or whatever the fuck it is. Because you know what? The things that people always put you down about your whole life and said you should change is your fucking superpower. Change your perception, change your perspective, change the way you look at it. Change the way you look at things. The things you look at change, right? Right, right, you know, right, you know. Fuck. I just know I have shit written on this board right here. And I know what God's calling me to do. I still keep trying to do it my way and in my time and my way. And, um,. I confuse myself that way and that's you know what I'm trying to do to myself my humanness but I dig it it's part of my path you know I, I you know just like the shit you're going through right now we got a full moon tomorrow I'm not an astrologist I don't know any of that thing but I just know I'm affected by that so I pay attention and 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 when you become aware of yourself and subtleties and things around you things you could start piecing things together I'm that's what I'm hoping for this is what I'm working on you know uh, you know mm. what just came into my mind is you know what just came to my mind is or just popped in my head was uh, you're either all in or you're all out you either believe in something full heartedly or you, you don't it's the double mindedness evidently I still have I see that I recognize it why the concern why the worry be still and know that I am God be still and know that I am God don't give up. I heard, as I said, don't give up. I heard it's always darkest before dawn, but it's hardest right before it breaks through. The hardest part, like what's being shown to me was a, 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 a seed, a seedling, you know, popping through, breaking through the soil. And there was something else after that. That was a really good analogy, too. Um, actually, it was better than the first one I was shown, but it'll come back or it won't. You get the point. Right before it's about to happen, we'll give up. Because it's at the hardest time and we've waited so long and we've worked so hard to get to that. And then we open our eyes one day again and it's a shit storm. It's like, but I had it all together. I know the law of attraction and I'm happy in my happy place and my magic moment and my, and my this and my that. And, and we open our eyes and allow the enemy of our own our own mind the enemy or our own enemy it's like our human is sent to destroy us <laughs> it's self right it's a self fucking destruct and it's playing its role on this freaking earth and depending on what choice you make you end up this way or that way or this way or that way but you know your destination 
my destination is to level up. This is a level up time in, in this game. And uh, when you graduate and the school's over and you get to live in your graduation time. Glory. Glory days. And a glorious body. And the trick is to die while you're still alive. Yeah, to die while you're still alive. To die to self. The self, the human, the ego. The, what our identity, what we identify with who we are, our physical body. Which is just a vessel. I want to do so a seed teach the children so bad it is so great and um, I feel stuck but I'm not I'm only stuck in my own head I'm the only thing that holds me back I say I'm ready but yet I still am here does anyone know what I mean are you finding yourself stuck right now? Are you just about to freaking bust through too, you know? You're plant, you planted all these seeds and they're all about to pop through. It's almost harvest season. It's right here. It's right here. Just got to get past this one thing. I did. Right when I jumped off of that one, I jumped right onto another hurdle. And this time, right on it. Right? Right between my legs. Bam. Smash my well, I don't have nuts, so I couldn't say that. <laughs> Whatever. Get the gist. Now I'm hurt and I can't move and I there's nothing I can do and nobody understands what I'm going through and if somebody would just help me and my poor human, my poor me. And we give up. Maybe we go back to drugs or we go back to eating that bad habit or we just, you know, whatever. We just fall back into our back into our place where we're comfortable that we've been trying to get out of for so long, and we just fight so hard to stay in our comfort place that isn't comfortable at all. Change is hard. Sticking with it, trusting yourself is hard. It's how many times have you let yourself down? And not only that, everybody in your life lets you down. Don't we kind of teach them that by letting ourselves down? How we treat ourselves, we show other people how to treat us by how we are with ourselves. So unknowingly, I guess depending on the group of people you're around, but if you're still in a low vibrational place, chances are you're in low vibrational um, in all your relationships around you because that's, you know, you're matching your tribe. They say a soul tribe and this and that. Well, you don't think there's a drug tribe and there's a fucking feel sorry for yourself. The whole world fucking hates me and everyone's against me tribe. The what was me tribe. It's a tribe. It's just they all got different energies and purposes. Your outside world reflects your inside world. So instead of looking at the human that does things or whatever, whatever the case is, and, and put it in your, your, does something, says something, or whatever, whatever it is, use your own, put your own scenario in it. Um, it's really just a direct reflection of what you do and who you are and how you think. That's fucked up, ain't it? So instead of projecting on someone else, I guess, Serena, Light, all of you, <laughs> um, look inside. Take a look in the mirror. Just jump in front of a mirror next time you want to talk shit 
or say something about somebody, just look in the front of the mirror, just get in front of a mirror. Serena, and say, hey, say it to your fucking self in your eyes. And then go, wow, is that really me? Who awareness is everything. Because once you're aware, then you get to make the choice if you want to change these things or stay that way. But it's a choice. But you can't make a choice if you're not aware. That's why I'm saying, if, I, if I'm in a relationship, if I do something wrong, let me know. How am I going to know different in all my relationships? Call me out on shit. Be nice about it or don't. It is what it is. We'll work through it. <laughs> you know? Fuck the semantics of it. Just get it out, however you know. And then we'll, we'll communicate. And work through it. And regardless if it's true or not, I should be able to be woman enough, mature enough to understand and, and healed enough and less human and more of the I am to be able to take it for what it is. Somebody else's opinion, someone else's perspective, but also be able to look at it as, is there any validity in this? Chances are there is. Guaranteed, whatever bothers you about somebody else is your own fucking flaw. I mean, it's your life. Only you would know that part of in you, but you have to learn, once you learn to really be honest with yourself, because that's hard, because then you find out everything in your life is direct reflection of yourself all of it because of what you think and you don't know you're thinking that way because it's in your subconscious mind we live unconsciously most of us from our subconscious traumas, lifetimes, triggers, things, which makes no sense because if we, if we walk in around and we're not conscious and we're living from our subconscious, then wouldn't we know? No. Somehow it doesn't work like that. So our reactions and everything come from a state, from a trigger. Of shit we probably don't even remember, right? Because it's, there's something embedded in us. Now we've taken on the identity of, um, since um, I was traumatized by, you know, sexual abuse or whatever. I'll just use that because that's pretty prominent in doesn't matter what sex you are, what gender you are. doesn't matter what you were born as, whether you have an Audi or an any, whatever. Again, you know, so you're young and you automatically take on the, I did something wrong because that's how they make you feel. So there goes your, any self-confidence, any self-esteem or anything you're going to have. That's embedded in your self You know what I mean? So there's going to be a sound. There's going to be a smell unbeknownst to you. See what I'm saying? That's why being mindful and being in the moment, why it's so important. Because with me, I've noticed so easily can be taken off track. From that just small as a mustard seed gets in your head you know I'm so confused with having faith and 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 living on that and knowing that I'm gonna be provided for And then having these talents and gifts that I could use to make money. I'm confused. Do I focus on money or do I focus on my, my, and my, what God has put on my heart? And I'm looking for those answers outside everywhere else instead of just going, God, what do you want me to do? And then being quiet. And allowing God to, to let me know. 
light. It's not rocket science. <laughs> Why you make it so difficult? Anyway. Didn't know it was going to go into all that. Have no idea how long this freaking thing is. Oh, sweet. We're going to stop it there. I feel like anything past this is, you know, past 15 minutes is probably too much. It's a touch and spin. Anyway, I'm working on some Reiki stuff, and uh, I was trying to work on and get it all perfect, but um, I'm just going to start shooting it, and I'm going to put that on a different uh, channel, YouTube channel, called Light of Love. That'll be where I do my Reiki stuff, I guess. I'm just learning all this shit. Peace, love, harmony. See you on the flip. Deuces.